country music artist by night. His debut EP called Pain Pills or Pews is out now. Please welcome Luke Grimes. <laughs> Thanks for having me back. Great to have you. You know, last time you were here, it was CMA night. It was a year ago. Yes. And you, at that time, told me that you were working on some music. You were recording some music, writing some songs. And then now it's this out. Is this the album that you were working on it at is. that time? Yes. That's, uh... And this is... <laughs> Just to be clear, is it pain pills or pews or pain pills or pews? Four words. Pain pills. Pills. Or, or pews. pews. There you go. You got One it. of the gals who works here, and I won't mention her name, but it's Claire, um, <laughs> thought pews were the sound that the laser gun in Star Wars makes. She's not the only one. Yeah, is it's that right? Before, yeah. Other people. Yeah. <laughs> Which I think that would be pew pews. Right? Yeah, yeah, well, you can't, it's not just one. It's pew you have squared. To, it'd be like a stormtrooper <laughs> with a lot of restraint. <laughs> pew. <laughs> pew. <Wow. laughs> You have, uh, obviously, a very successful acting career. And here's what I was thinking about when I was thinking about you and this music career. Does this now, because you are a successful, famous actor, put, in your opinion, more pressure on you when you decide you want to record an album and tour with that album? Um, that's how I felt. I mean, yeah. you know, my big fear was that people were going to be like, why is that guy from that show doing music now. Yeah. Uh, or, or that I would come across like I was having like a midlife crisis or something. Are you? you know? Yes. Yes. <laughs> kind of... Pray for me. Everybody. People have them. <laughs> pray for them. Go kneel in a pew pew and pray for them. <laughs> but um, yeah, because it's one thing if you're, nobody knows who you are and you record songs and then pe people aren't interested, well, you just kind of whatever you do. But it's another thing, it's a big swing when you're you. Yeah. Um, thanks for bringing that up. Yeah. <laughs> Think about that a lot. So. <laughs> it indicates to me that this is something that you really wanted to do. do. Is this something you really, really wanted to do? Absolutely, man. I've been playing music since I was a kid. And, um, you know, I, both of the dreams were sort of simultaneous and a acting just sort of paid the bills. And then I had this opportunity and I thought, you know, I could sit here and worry about what everybody's going to think about it, or I could just give it a shot. And so, what a funny day job to have an actor like, yeah, I'm a, yeah, I, <laughs> I act for a living, but really, I'm a musician. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and you've been but. playing in front of some big crowds. Uh, in fact, I think we have a photograph here from a uh, festival in Montana where you live. That is a lot of people. What's it like playing in front of? going from like acting in front of a camera, maybe a couple of guys, to playing in front of all those people? It's, uh, it's a lot of energy, man. It's a lot of, um, you know, it's kind of like uh, getting electrocuted or something. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, about 10 times during that set, I thought, I hope my zipper isn't down. Is that right? There's a lot of people looking at me right now. Uh, <laughs> it's a big fear of mine. Was that your first big crowd th at this show? Um, no, I, I played Stagecoach. was the first show we ever booked. Oh, you're festival. playing Stagecoach this year, right? Next me, yeah, year. they're letting me come back. Yeah, so I right. messed, that's messed a, up too bad. That's going to be a big deal. Yeah. I was looking at the lineup. I think Willie Nelson's playing uh, uh, when you're playing. I'm you're a Willie fan, right? What? You're a Willie oh, fan. Oh, yeah. Who I isn't really? Too. I mean... Hey, do you know Willie at all? I've never met him. No. You know? Oh, you will. You Hopefully, we'll visit the bus. Don't visit the bus before you perform. No. <laughs> No, I don't think hot boxing is the way. <laughs> I'm already nervous enough. Because you'll think all those people are going to kill you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and the other artists, have you been, I think that was a music festival, right? That have you, like, do you feel um, welcomed by them, by the other musicians? Yeah, anyone I've met in person has been really supportive and really sweet about it. I'm sure there's people that, you know, have their judgments or whatever, but everyone in the country music community in, in, in Nashville, are, it's a really good group of people, really sweet. You're about to go on a tour. You're like first kind of big tour, right? Yes. And you're going to you're going to go perform in your hometown. Uh, yeah, not my hometown, but home state. I'm going. I'm actually flying tonight to Ohio to start oh, to, tour tomorrow. Oh, hey, they just yeah, yeah they they just legalized weed there. Yeah. So. <laughs> Yeah, they uh -huh. did. They had a big vote, and they voted to legalize weed. So, uh, yeah. Only 20 years after Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> right on time. Um, Will, are you more or less comfortable 
playing in front of people you know? We'll see. I've never played in front of any of oh, my family. Have? No, this will be the first time. Have you been getting a lot of ticket requests and that kind of thing? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. A lot of weird, uh, weird kind of people reaching out that I haven't talked to in 20 years. You know, people from high school. Oh, really? Cousins I didn't know I had. They all still have your phone number? I don't know how they got my phone number. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> I have no clue, yeah. So you get a text from an unknown number and it's like some like cousin Jerry or something like that? Yeah, it happens a lot. How do you respond? Can you actually grab your phone? I would be happy to respond to some of those texts. It's in the back. Oh, <laughs> Guillermo, go get his phone. <laughs> 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 We're going to make the reunion very, very uncomfortable. Please don't. It's already going to be uncomfortable. <laughs> Blake Shelton had a pet raccoon when he was 13 years old. Yeah. You have anything like that? Not that cool, man. That's pretty awesome. I do have a great photograph of you, though, as a kid. Uh, oh. This is, I think you're 14. Are you 14 years old here? Yeah. yeah. Can we zoom in on what the, the book is? And Those shorts are pretty great. Um, Very large. I, uh... Yeah, yeah, that was the style, I guess. <laughs> Your film acting career. <laughs> is that how you figured it out? Yeah, yeah. Apparently, all you need to do is buy that book. <laughs> uh, take an emotional, emotional beating for about 20 years and to go on Jimmy Kimmel. <laughs> did, you, uh, did you, like, get any... Did you get any information that actually helped you and that you used from that book? I learned what a SAG card was. Uh-huh. That's about it. That's it. All right. <laughs> you got, uh, when you come back, uh, you're going to play a song for us. What song are you going to do um, tonight? It's a song called Burn. Burn? Is this one you wrote? Yes. Yeah? And what's yeah. it about? Um, getting burnt by a relationship. Oh. Um, Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Sorry, guy. <laughs> Not a happy one. <laughs> All right. Well, listen, uh, I think that gives us a little context as we see you uh, when you come back. This is the album. It's Pain Pills or Pews, okay? Make no mistake. It's not a, it's a four-word thing. And uh, it's out now. When we come back, we'll have music from Luke Grimes. So stick around. Put on down.